So let's say, for example, I hand you a circuit like you see the one over here. And you're thinking to yourself, well, that's going to take a while to work through. And there's many different things and aspects that you could look at these kinds of circuits. You're like, there's a lot of resistors here, though. Is she serious? And the answer is yes, yes. And there's reasons for it. And one of the things you know, we can look into this is this is actually one common circuit element used in many places, including if I'm looking at digital analog converters. And so these kinds of circuits matter. And they matter in a lot of places. And it turns out that with a little bit of thought, you can kind of see the analysis, some of the analysis concepts and ways of simplification. So I want to kind of use this as an example to say, well, you think you got this really nutty circuit and you don't know what to do with it. Okay. So imagine we're going to eventually build a, two, a, two, a one port model of this, where I want to really look at what is a whole bunch of the voltages equivalent coming out. And I want to look at what are the equivalent resistances. Resistance. And remember, I can all of this will eventually combine to one voltage source equivalent, even though I've got all these voltages and a whole bunch of resistors. So I want to focus on the resistor part, because it should all collapse to one resistance. And you're thinking to yourself, OK, this is going to be an ugly problem. But wait and see. Notice there's a very interesting structure. 2R, 2R, there's an R. Notice the structure that's getting in this. And this is actually often called an R to R ladder because it kind of looks like one half of a ladder and you can kind of see how this is building. There's an interesting pattern to this and you'll kind of see this as we go. So imagine I want to look at the output resistance. Well, if I was doing this for a, a one port network, I would know that one way to do it would be to turn off the voltage source and then look at what the equivalent resistance is. Everything would have to collapse to that point, to that one device. Again, everything like superposition holds. So all of these just get shorted out because the voltages are all zero. So that's basically going to be a short. I'm left with the circuit underneath here, to which you look at the circuit and you go, it still looks like a lot of stuff. So what am I going to do with that? Well, let's just start working our way through it. And we notice one thing that we have two resistors here that are in parallel. Those two parallel resistors can that two in parallel gives me half, so it gives me an R. And you're like, okay, that, that was nice. And I notice that I have another R from here, so those two R's then add to give me another two R. You think, I've seen this pattern before. These two R's then become a single resistance here. So now this becomes my circuit. Notice the, the interest of being able to redraw the circuits and kind of look at this graphically and say, huh, I'm seeing things change from here to here to here to here, and I'm seeing the reductions. And so I can start to see the intuition of what's going on with these reductions. Okay. And so you begin to notice that this is also a, a better circuit to deal with than this one. So there should be at least a little bit of Okay, I'm making progress, even though it's still a lot. Well, I have these, this R, and I go with this R, and I'm like, well, that's 2R. And you think, I've seen that pattern. And that means that that will then give me 2R, which combines with this, it gives me an R. And I'm like, hmm, that'll reduce to there. We've seen this pattern. The same sort of thing happens here. And then I get 2Rs, and a two, to these, this becomes 2R, this becomes 2R, and it's just R. And you got to be thinking, that's cool. I mean, all of this can all be simplified to just a single resistor R in a nice, nice, elegant way. There are many different cases like this. And often when you're engineering circuits, these are some of the things that you're trying to come up with and trying to build.